Solway te discipuli. This is help for your Latin studies in Henley First Year Latin, exercise 89. And in this exercise, we are translating sentences from Latin into English, particularly making um, use of our new knowledge, which is the preposition pro. The preposition pro is uh, a preposition that takes the ablative case for its object. And also, depending on whether it um, comes before a person or comes before a different object. It might mean in front of, if it's before an object, or it might be, mean on behalf of, if it's um, connected to a person. And then we have some new vocabulary words. These are all nouns, but all of them are each of them in a different declension family. So we have a first declension, second, 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 and third declension noun to add to our vocabulary list as well. So we're going to be making use of that new vocabulary and then practicing using the preposition pro. All right, so we have number one, legiones Romani pro castris erant. All right, number one. Legiones is our new vocabulary word for legion. It's a third declension. So in the singular count, various is, e, m, e, and in the plural column, eis, um, ibis, eis, ibis. So we know this is our subject and it's nominative plural. So the legions. And which, which legions? The Roman legions. Since this is a feminine noun, you see that this adjective is um, also has a feminine nominative plural ending. So the Roman legions. Pro castris erant. Well, here's our verb. They were, this is past tense, so the Roman legions were pro castris. Castris means um, camp, and it's in the ablative form um, because of the preposition pro, which takes the ablative. And so we want, and it's a thing, it's not a person. So we want to translate that as in front of. They were in front of. the camp. Okay, we'll do one more. Number two, Santa Maria pro hominibus malis et bonis orat. All right, so right away we see our subject here is Mary, and it's modified by this adjective holy, uh, Santa, holy Mary. And what does she do? She prays. Um, so let's write that. Holy Mary prays. And then we have pro hominibus. So this is the noun, the object of the preposition. It's plural um, and it's ablative because it's connected to this preposition pro. So hominibus malis et bonis. Okay, so this is bad and good. And this is men. And in this case, the word pro is talking about people, men. So we're thinking on behalf of. She prays on behalf of bad and good men. Uh, and just to be sure here, hominibus, this is a masculine plural ablative, that's our gender number in case. We wanna make sure that bad and good both have masculine plural ablative endings. So looking at our masculine endings for adjectives, uh, here's plural and ablative, is. So yes, malis et bonis. That makes sense, it works, and that's the translation. So keep going through and um, thinking about the Latin words, how you would translate them, and how the adjectives and nouns agree in gender, number, and case. And have a great week.